audience Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy with another project. Friends, let's make a super cute dish. It's going to be a covered dish that we make out of crayons. I know. So I got these crayons at Dollar Tree. They are like 64 in the package. You're going to need the big one. And I also have this can. I think it was from Mushrooms. It's a wee little can, but you also want the lid if you want to go to the next level, which I know you do. So I start by finding the seam in the can and I just put a, a what's it, a line. <laughs> Put a line of glue and then I put my crayon on top of that and you want to make sure that the crayon is flush with the can so I'll put it on there make sure it's straight but then I'll put it on the table and just make sure that it's actually flush with the can so that it's not sticking out you don't want it to be all lopsided and then we're going to do this all the way around the can with our crayons you can put you know change up the color combinations I don't know I just randomized it I did not have any pattern in mind but if you wanted to do that you totally could but again I just do a line of glue then put on the crayon line of glue then put on the crayon I made sure to have the crayon label on the outside but however you want to do it it's fine and these are not Crayola crayons so I gotta be honest I was not so I didn't feel so bad about using them for this application because they're not great crayons Anyways, this is what it looks like when you get all that done. And you can stop right there. Super cute, right? But you know I can't stop there. So I'm going to take some more crayons. This first round I'm going to do, I'm going to cut the tips to one inch. And then I'm going to put it on the lid. So we're going to put a little glue on the lid. And then we're going to attach that um, that point that we cut, that one inch point. I tried doing it the other way where you put the glue on the crayon and put it on. No, no it's so bad. It didn't work out that way at all didn't work out so then the next layer we're going to do one and a half inches we're going to cut the crayon down to one and a half inches and we're going to put that on and some glue on the inside and then go all the way around that way Ta-da! super fun right um i should have gotten another package of crayons because i didn't have enough to do all the tops so I had to use, had to utilize some of the bottoms. So I took some of the bottoms and I did the same thing as I did before. I put some glue in and then I went all the way around on the inside with these ones. And these ones are probably two inches long. Um, I just wanted it to look like it was graduated, if that makes any sense. Almost like a tower of crayon or a castle. All right, that's enough. <laughs> Anyways, do that all the way around the inside. Then I put a dollop of glue on the center and I put a, I, I, it's, I put a full crayon in it, but then later I cut it down. I just cut like a half an inch off it just because it looked a little awkward being so much longer than the rest. But there you go. Look at, mm, look at how cute this is. So cute. Now listen, you could put paper clips, erasers, whatever you want in there, right? But you know I like hiding candy. I know. It's a, it's a thing with me. I know. So I put a little bow around it because that's super cute. But then I hid chocolate kisses in it nobody needs to know they can think there's office supplies in here and all the while there's candy that makes me smile <laughs> anyways friends it's super fun i hope you enjoyed it i hope it inspires you if nothing else i hope you were enter entertained okay well have a great night and we'll talk again soon